Hi, it's me, Lois, and welcome to my channel, Lois Codes, where I talk about coding tips, tricks, cool finds, and everything else I'm learning on my programming journey. If you like the content, don't forget to like and subscribe to get the latest. <laughs> In the last C Sharp Saturday video, I spent the time looking for something like an ID to help me learn C Sharp. Well, today I'm going to dive into the IDE I chose and make a basic form app. The goal is to learn how to design and build applications with form controls in C Sharp on a Mac. You don't have access to WPF, which is Windows Presentation Foundation, so we have to use something else. I'll be using Visual Studio for Mac and Xcode. If you're following along, you should have these applications already installed. Our focus is not on the design, but just on how to get started. Alrighty, let's begin. Any great thing starts with a beginning. So let's begin by setting up our project in Visual Studio. We'll use the Cocoa app template. We are going to give a title to our project and call it Basic Form. Here, we can change the doc name. We won't go over extensions. All right, next page. We are going to set up Git version control. It's already set up for us. Awesome. And close these. We don't need these. We are going to right click on main storyboard, open with an Xcode interface editor. This will bring up Xcode. This is a preview of what our window, our app is going to look like. We're going to drag in a push button, change the title to submit, Now we're going to add a text field, drag it in, expand it, and then we're going to alt click to add another one. And now I'm going to add a check box. Click and drag. I'm going to change the name of this, the title, to subscribe question mark. Now that we have our components, let's go ahead and open viewcontroller.h or viewcontroller header. And we'll do a side by side between our, our main storyboard and our viewcontroller header. It's having a little issue. Luckily, I resolved it. Okay, so now we are going to select a component, hit control, and drag it into view control header. What's important here is that we have two options for connection. We have outlet and action. An action is when you are sending a message, i.e. on click or on change, from the storyboard to our code. We want to be able to track the on click event, so we will be using action for the submit button. But there is also outlet, which allows our code to make changes to properties or access values from our UI. If I wanted to change something with submit button, i.e. the title or color, then I would also create another connection and use the outlet type. I'll go ahead and set the outlet type for the rest of the components. We'll save that and we'll go back to Visual Studio. Let's look inside of the View Controller Designer and we'll see that all of our connections have been saved to our code. Let's play this to see what it looks like. We'll see that we have our two text fields, our checkbox, and our submit button. Let's create our on click event for our submit button. We're going to do partial void and thank God for IntelliSense autocomplete. So we're going to remove this throw exception because we don't need to do that. We are going to define our three variables to retrieve our name 
input, our email input, and the state of the subscribe checkbox. We're going to put all of those variables inside of another variable called data, and we're going to just create a string. And we're going to print this to the console. All right, so let's see how this runs. So I'm going to put in the name, my name, Lois. In the email, I'm going to put lois at example.com. And since the default subscribe is checked, I'm going to keep it checked. And I'm going to submit it. Let's look at the console. We'll click View, Pads, and scroll down to Application Output Basic Form. As we can see in the console, it printed out our string, which consists of our name, our fake email, and the state of the checkbox. Let's go ahead and open the application again and just make a change to the checkbox. I'm going to submit it, and we'll see that the state has updated and it's now set to off. Nice. So we now know how to set our project up and tie things together. The app is working and it's looking okay. It's not a bad start for learning how to connect our UI to our code. Next time, I'm going to dive a bit deeper with the next app. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. But until then, go forth and push code. Be strong. Be strong.